Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, uh, here I, I'm in my mobile office again, uh, and thought I'd give you guys a, a quick, a quick update. So, um, uh, stick around. So I've got a whole new look. Can anyone tell what's different? Uh, so yeah, I changed my look up. I decided I hadn't seen my face in, in a couple of years, so um, I'll, I'll try it out. So I'm going into final exams for the spring semester, and I've got three to go. Hopefully, I'll have one knocked out uh, by the time I post this. So I don't know if you remember, but I don't even know if I told you what I took this semester, but it was antitrust law, which that class is a bear, unless you're really into economics. Um, that course may be the bane of your existence when you get around to take it, if you take this law school path. Uh, and also trade secrets, which isn't so bad, which uh, brings me to another uh, topic, uh, and that is the two credit courses. Uh, so that's a two credit course, uh, but <laughs> uh, I've been a little bit, this. so I, I find that I've gotten into a habit as far as my expectations go, um, and with two credit courses, and it, it took me this long to kind of get past that, and that is that um, the two credit course doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be half the work of a four credit course and um, mentally you kind of set yourself up for for not really failure but for disappointment if you think that because a class is only two credits that it's going to be a breeze um, I suggest to you um, that you approach every course just in the vacuum of the course itself and applaud yourself fully and remember you know if you take this law school journey you're there to learn and and uh and accumulate skills and be a good attorney hopefully so you're going to find that uh, so yeah that's all i'll really say about that just uh, manage your your expectations and uh, make sure you're getting out of it all that you should be getting out of it. Um, so my other final is in Will's Trust and Estates. And <clears throat> that one I'm hoping to knock out this afternoon or later this evening. So uh, hopefully I'll be finished with this. So time flies and it's really... You know, I, when I started this thing... I didn't expect it to go so fast, um, and you know, if you're if you're still on the fence, if you're thinking about doing this, I would say, uh, obviously, just jump in. Uh, if you're worried about being finished when you're 40, 45, uh, 60, whatever, um, you're going to be that age anyway. So you may as well be that age with <laughs> with the law degree. Or, or whatever other kind of degree or goal that you're that you're going after. So I was looking at my curriculum, and I realized that um, after the summer semester, I will only have one required course left. And that's not to say I only have one course left to finish the whole program. That's to say that um, there are certain courses that are required. Um, and I'll be I'll be done with those. Uh, I'll only have one to go in the uh, in the fall semester. Which you know, looking back at when I started, which seems like last week, to me that's just amazing to have made that much process, that much progress. And uh, you know, it's just a grind. It's a grind. It's a daily grind. And you know, especially for students like me and probably a student like you if you've been uh, drawn to this channel where you have a career and you're you're doing work and school and for me that that seems to be about all I do 
work and school. I mean, literally, I, I get up and uh, I'm still uh, working completely on telework. And that is nice. It saves me so much time on my commute. But um, I've kind of been drawn into this really sedentary lifestyle. And I realized it. I mean, I knew it. Because what I'll do is I start work and and I'll I'll do my you know however many hours I work and then <laughs> I don't even get up I go straight to studying until bedtime and that's that's a daily thing and the thing that I'm realizing after I stepped on the scale yesterday and uh, and cried for a little while. Uh, I've picked up a few pounds and some of my own advice I haven't been following. So let me, let me repeat that. And, and I'm making changes as I, as I talk to you about this, um, self care is important and, and not just, uh, mental care and giving yourself mental breaks. And, and if you need the help by all means, go, go get the help. There's no reason for you to be depressed or or feeling uh, an excess of anxiety. There's treatment for that. There's help for you. Get it. Uh, I don't I don't think the old stigma uh, that used to be attached to that is still there. And and if it is, so what? Um, you got to take care of yourself. So that's also physically. There's a whole, there's a whole balance that you have to make sure you mind. It's your, uh, your intellectual, your spiritual, and your, and your physical welfare. And when, when one of those <laughs> starts getting out of balance, oh my gosh, it's so unhealthy. Uh, so that's where I am. Uh, so I'm not only, I, I make time for meditation. But now I'm, I'm working in the time to do uh, physical activity, not on the level that I used to be when I was bench pressing 450 pounds, when, and I legit was benching 450 pounds. And let me say that's ridiculous for someone that's not a professional <laughs> athlete. There's no reason to, uh, to lift that kind of weight um, aside from just ego. So here's the main point of that. Your your self-care has to be intentional. You have to put time aside uh, for your mental well-being. Uh, I choose meditation. Um, you have to put time aside for your exercise. And uh, an important thing that some people don't think about is meal prep. Something so simple. Um, And when you're really busy like that, um, when you go from work mode to study mode, there's not a whole lot of time for meal prep put in there unless you make the time for that. Um, So, uh, so that's important. And I I was, I was starting to eat a lot of uh, uh, pre-prepared meals that's probably the nicest way to say it it's not a good idea because it takes you down an unhealthy path so that's uh, that's one of the changes I'm making and I'll let you know how that goes you'll you'll probably see how that goes actually so yeah it's a funny thing on your uh, your physical health um, no one tells you you're getting fat until you start losing weight You ever notice that, uh, like, hey, Douglas, you're looking good. You look like you lost some weight. What, I was fat? You couldn't have told me that while I was super fat? Just love on me a little bit and and, uh, tell me things I need to know, not the things that I just, you think I want to know. But that's just me. Some people aren't ready to handle all that truth. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'll stop that.
So one last thing, I feel like I'm kind of a veteran of this now and, uh, and I can dole out a little bit of advice and, and this is something that I wish that I had done at the start. Uh, and that is, um, very carefully picking if, if you, if you do things electronically, like I do, you have to very carefully decide on your note taking app. Um, so for me, I started out my first semester using Evernote, um, which, you know, Evernote has its good things. And, um, I think the, the downside is that to get a lot of the features you have to pay to use it. Um, so I was in the habit of using Evernote professionally, so I used it for a lot. Uh, but then talking to some classmates, a lot of my classmates were using OneNote by Microsoft. Now, I'm not endorsing either of them, and they're certainly not paying me. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to lie, if they were paying me, I would, no, I'm just kidding. I, I wouldn't. That would not be... Um, that wouldn't be genuine and I want to be genuine with you guys. So the note taking act that app that's worked the best for me is Evernote, uh, not Evernote. Oh my gosh. Um, the note taking app that has worked best for me is OneNote. Um, I can use it on the PC and across all my devices, including my iPad and, and my Samsung phone. So that's really nice, and and the really nice thing is the price of OneNote, which is free, free 99, 99 without the 99. So I love that, and for me, it's easier to organize everything in in the notebooks that you can set up in OneNote. That's for me, um, and the reason I bring that up is there's a little thing. Um, when you finish law school called the bar exam and you're going to need to study for that and in my program they uh they have us take a mini bar exam uh, pleasant little surprise uh so in addition to finals i'm preparing for that but what i found when i go back to uh my first semester and review those notes from like uh, say my property class uh, for instance it, it's it's a jumble and um, there's a whole semester not a whole semester yeah a semester of one class notes are are missing uh, that sucks but everything I've done in OneNote is there and it's organized and it's easy to find and I'm going to tell you a secret too uh, that the law school gods might frown on and you know I don't know how far you are into this but you may have heard about doing uh, an outline for all of your classes I did that first semester, but I haven't done that since. I do all my notes in OneNote and they're organized on a level that I can go back and study straight from my notes without the need of an outline. So take that for what it's worth as you go forward. And one final, final thing, uh, Quimby, uh, who doesn't sponsor me either. I don't have any sponsors. I don't want any sponsors. I'm doing this for me. Uh, Quimby is your friend. And I still use Quimby. And it's very handy. And uh, that's something I would also suggest to you. Um, once you start this path. Get yourself a subscription to Quimby. Um, and I think they have a. I think they have a trial plan. I think. I'm guessing. Uh, so that's all for today. It's raining out here. Uh, 
good to see you. I just wanted you to know that I'm still grinding, still at it, and uh, I'm going to keep you updated. If you have any questions or you have anything that you want me to cover, just leave it in the comments. Um, I'm at a point where I, I don't get a lot of comments, so I tend to answer all of them. So thanks for watching. God bless you. May his face shine on you. And I'll see you next time. Oh, one more thing. I hope you had a great birthday. I'll talk to you soon.